Hi, question number five taken from June 2006, Advanced Level Maths Statistics 2. The random variable x has probability density fraction given by fx is equal to 4x to the power of k for 0 less or equal to x less or equal to 1 and 0 otherwise, where k is a positive constant. First part, we need to show that k is equal to 3. Second part, show that the mean of x is 0 0.8 and find the variance of x. Find the upper quartile of x for the third part. And finally, we need to find the interquartile range of x. OK. Right. So here's the information that we have and uh, we have been given fx is equal to 4x to the power of k for 0 less or equal to x less or equal to 1 and then we have 0 otherwise. Now what we need to show is that show that k is equal to 3. Okay, now for probability density fraction <clears throat> we need to integrate this and equate it to the area. And what is the area? The area should be 1 for probability density fraction. Therefore we're going to integrate fx integrate fx. fx is 4x power k 4x power k with respect to x and we're going to substitute uh, the limit as 1 and 0 because the limit goes from 1 from 0 to 1 okay and then we're going to see that this is equal to 1 because under the curve for probability density fraction the total probability is 1 integrating 4x to the power of k you can put the 4 outside so we are going to be integrating 4 integrating 4 uh, sorry integrating x because we've put 4 outside to the power of k with respect to x equal to 1. Integrating x to the power of k gives you x to the power of k plus 1 divided by k plus 1. Substitute the limits from 0 to 1 multiply by 4 and say it's going to be 1. Now this 4 can be divided when it is set on the other side. Therefore we have First of all, we need to substitute the values. 1 here, so x is going to be 1. So 1 to the power of k plus 1 is going to be 1 itself. So 1 divided by k plus 1. What is k? Um, we don't know. k plus 1 is equal to 1 quarter. Why? Because the 4 is multiplied when it goes on the other side, it becomes divide. So we are left with 1 quarter here. Now, what about the other value? Um, 0. Anyway, if we put 0 here, it's going to end up as 0. So 1 over k plus 1 minus 0 is 1 over k plus 1. This can be seen as k plus 1 is equal to 4. All right, and therefore k is equal to 4 minus 1, and k is going to be 3. And this is shown. Now that's the first part of the question, question 5. For the second part, we need to find the mean of x and show that it is uh, 0 0.8. OK, so how are we going to do this? Right, second part, show that the mean of x, okay, mean of x is equal to 0 decimal 8. Right. So to do this, we're going to use the formula. What is mean? Mean is going to be the integration, this is a and b, of x, fx, dx. Integrating x times fx. What is fx? fx is 4x power k. k has been shown to be 3. So we're going to say then the mean of x, okay, let's call it expectation of x, is going to be 
um, the integration of x times 4x to the power of 3. Okay, and the values are, the limits are 0, 1, 0. You perform the multiplication here. Alright, this is 1, 0, and you have 4 outside x to the power of 4. Why 4? Because this is 1. Okay, and therefore when you multiply, you're going to add the powers with respect to x. Integrating x power 4, you're going to end up with x power 5 over 5. And you substitute your limits as 0 and 1. So, let's continue here. Now 4, okay, times x power 5, x is 1. So 1 to the power of 5 is 1, 1 over 5, you can put that in brackets, minus 0, 0 to the power of 5 is 0, 0 over 5 is 0, and what that's going to give us, 1 over 5 minus 0 over 5 is 1 over 5, so we are left with 4 times 1 over 5. Now what is 4 times 1 over 5? It's going to be 0 0.8. And this has been shown as well. Now, we need to find the variance of x as well for the second part. Okay, so let's find the variance of x. And what is the formula to calculate the variance of x? Okay, so we're still on the second part. The variance of x is the integration of x square fx dx with respect to their limits and in this case uh, we're going to be looking at um, the integration with limits from 0 to 1 of x square times 4x power k and k is power 3 k is 3 anyway so dx now we can put the 4 outside and what are we going to be left with integrating x power 2 times x power 3 is x power 5 dx. Right, so going further, integrating this is going to end up with x power 6 divided by 6, so that's x power 6 over 6. Limits are as follows. So you can substitute 1 here, alright, so you're going to be end up with 1 power 6 which is 1, times 4 minus 4 times 0 power 6 is 0 over 6 and so that's going to give us 4 over 6 which is 2 thirds minus 0 therefore the answer then should be it's not really the answer but what I was just doing here is the uh, ex square All right, we need to subtract the mean to the square as well sorry about that and therefore we're going to subtract 0 decimal 8 to the square this is everywhere so that's 2 thirds minus 0 decimal 8 to the square and if we do that on the calculator alright so let me just bring in the calculator here There we are. So 2 over 3 minus 0 decimal 8 to the square. It's going to give us this much. 0 0.266666 forever. So we can say confidently 0 0.26723 significant figures. Here we are for this part of the question. Now we need to find the um, upper quartile of x. Okay, how are we going to find the upper quartile of x? Right, so this is the third part. Upper quartile of x. Basically, we're looking at the area being 0 0.75 for upper quartile. Therefore, we're going to integrate fx with respect to x 
we're going to call this the upper quartile Q3 and then this is going to be 0 okay and all of that is going to be 0 0.75 so what is fx right and therefore integrating our Q3 0 fx is 4x we can put the 4 outside and the x power 3 dx square to 0 0.75 substitute the limits okay so what are we going to left with now if I if I set, first of all I integrate this so I'm going to end up with 4 times x power 4 divided by 4 okay and we're going to put the limits q let us say q3 and then this is 0 is equal to 0 0.75 now this and this is going to go out anyway okay x power 4 so value of x is q so we're going to say q3 power 4 minus x x is 0 so 0 power 4 is equal to 0 0.75 so q3 which is the minus 0 is q3 itself is equal to the fourth root of 0 decimal 75 so 0 decimal 75 and you are looking at the fourth root of it and that's going to give you 0 0.9306 0 0.9306 so therefore the upper quartile is going to be 0 decimal 931 to 3 significant figures here we are for this part of the question now for the fourth part maybe we could just uh, section this away here right and try to get as much space as possible all right so what is the interquartile range now let me just do this what i know is that the interquartile range is equal to the upper quartile minus the lower quartile upper quartile has already been found the lower quartile is basically 0 0.25 Therefore, what I'm going to say here is that I'm going to integrate with respect to the limits. Upper, lower quartile is Q1. I can put the 4 outside x power 3 inside dx is equal to 0 0.25. That's the lower quartile. Now, so 4, x power 4 divided by 4, when you integrate this, Put your limits q1 and 0 is equal to 0 0.25. So, in other words, the 4 and 4 goes out, and you're going to be left with x power 4 q1 0 0 decimal 25. Now, what can we do here? Substitute the values, you're going to get q to the power of 4. Okay minus q to the power 0 is equal to 0 0.25 q to the power 4 is equal to 0 0.25 q to the power of, sorry q is equal to fourth root of 0 decimal 25 and what is the fourth root of decimal 0 decimal 25 okay the fourth root of it is going to be 0 0.707 so we have 0 decimal 7071 and so on. Therefore, what is the interquartile range? It's the upper minus the lower. Upper is 0 decimal 931 minus 0 decimal 7071. So 0 decimal 931 minus the answer 0 decimal 2238. Okay. It's not an exact value anyway. So I have 0 decimal 93. 06 rather work with four decimal places four decimal places so let's do this 0 0.9036 to be more accurate on the safe side minus 0 decimal 7071 okay no sorry about that um, 0 decimal 9306 minus 
zero decimal seven zero seven one zero decimal two two three five. Okay, so I've got the interquartile range zero decimal two two three five. In other words, zero decimal two two four. Here we are for this question. Well, I hope that's enough help.